Hello, every Hello, everybody, and thanks for coming today. And we have Sierra, who's joined us today to be able um, to sign my remarks. And I also have asked um, Acting Chief Ron Weiniger um, to join me, and Council Member Lisa Sanchez, who is here, and Council Member Halliburton is here as well. Um, on behalf of everyone at the city and our city council, I want to acknowledge that these are really hard times for our community and our country. Um, we are all hurting, especially members of our black community. The unjust and inhumane death of George Floyd brings pain and suffering not only to his family, but to countless members of our own city and nation whose lives and lived experience includes the byproduct and impact of centuries of racism and oppression. And just as I did the other day, I call on all of us to renew our commitment to justice and recognize that we must hold ourselves, our leaders, um, and our public servants to high standards. Boise is a welcoming city. We value those who identify as black, indigenous, and or people of color. Each of you enriches our lives, enriches our community. Understanding your perspectives and experience is vital and important to our community. We stand with you both here in Boise and around the country. And it's incredibly important that we honor the life and legacy of those who did and have lost their lives to racism in our country. And we recognize event that events, especially like the event um, and the unjust death of George Floyd in recent weeks, pushes many of us um, to find our voice, to come out and to peacefully gather to speak to the injustice that they've experienced themselves. Last night, George Floyd's family issued a statement calling for peaceful assembly and that we all say prayers for their family and that they too might find peace. And so together with the Boise Police Department and after conversations with the organizers of tonight's event, um, I am asking you, we are asking you, um, residents of Boise, um, to be peaceful, to honor the life and legacy of those whose lives are lost, and to be respectful not only today, but in the days to come as we have tough conversations as a community and nation. When we act in violence against each other, we're hurting our entire community, but especially people of color in our community and around this country. As a city, and on behalf of the organizers for tonight's event, we're asking that if you attend the Black Lives Candlelight Vigil, that's taking place at the State House at 8.30 p.m., that you come in peace to respect and honor those who have lost their lives to racism. And the organizers are also asking that you be mindful of the health and safety of our entire community, acknowledge and abide by um, the work they're doing to create physical space between protesters and that you wear a face covering. We want to assure you, the entire community, that your health and safety is our top priority. And with that, I'd ask um, the Chief Weiniger um, come up to talk about um, the efforts we're undertaking to ensure um, that we can continue to have peaceful gatherings and our residents remain safe. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I appreciate the opportunity to be here today. And I just want everyone to know that the officers of the Boise Police Department have been protecting and supporting those exercising their First Amendment rights here on the streets of Boise for decades. And it is a, a proud tradition that we uphold and we cherish that people have the opportunity to express themselves and their feelings and their frustrations at times. And this, this event tonight is no different. We will work to provide a safe atmosphere where everyone can express themselves appropriately. This weekend and last night, Boise Police Department and members of the Idaho State Police were at the state capitol, not only to support and protect everyone's right to speak, but to listen to their messages as well. We, as a police department and the officers that I represent are working to meet the challenges of our future and the way we do that is written right into our guiding principles, and that's available if you're interested. We ask 
again, that you honor what's been outlined in the event description by the organizers. I have personally spoken with some of them and I appreciate their desire to have a safe event and we will do our best to ensure that. We ask folks who come and attend the event tonight that they attend with only the intention of peaceful mourning. In the days, weeks, months, and years ahead, we will be reaching out to more and more people and building on the tradition that we have in the past, the Boise Police Department, engaging members of our community and hearing from them what their concerns are so that we can provide the tailored policing services to all of those in our community that they need. We wanna make sure Boise is a place where people not only are safe, but feel safe. And we will work tirelessly to make that happen. I would stand for questions unless somebody else is next at the podium. Lisa Sanchez. Thank you. I just wanted to take an opportunity to thank the members of the community who reached out to me this past weekend for questions and guidance about how to respond to these issues uh, that have become so evident because of the news and because of social media. And if, if, if those of you who contacted me about attending events, and whether or not you should go, um, I would say you don't have to go tonight. It's, it's a wonderful event. It's a vigil. It's there to honor the dead. But uh, that is not where the real work happens. The real, real work happens uh, with the person in the mirror. So if you choose uh, to not put on a mask tonight and not come out tonight, uh, please know that uh, you are still helping our community. Um, and one way you can help us even more is to start educating yourself. Um, I know a lot of folks have been home the last few months watching a lot of Netflix. Perhaps you can uh, start to digest some documentaries that are about social justice and racism and educate yourself. We have our wonderful Boise Public Library. If you don't have a library card, now would be a great time to get one. And we have a lot of books that can help you learn about the issues of social justice and racial oppression, white supremacy. Um, that's really where the work needs to begin. It needs to begin with us as individuals. And I'd like to thank Mayor McLean for inviting me to speak today. Um, that's another example of inclusion. If you've got voices, if you've got diverse voices, uh, make space for them so that they can share their expertise. And so I thank Mayor McLean for allowing me to speak today. But uh, it, it's not about events. It's about everyday commitment to making sure that our community is what we'd like to what we would like it to be, and that's Boise kind. And so I welcome you to do that. You don't have to come tonight. Um, you can actually do a lot of good for our community by staying home and educating yourself. Thank you. That um, concludes our planned remarks. We are happy to take questions if you have them for any of us for a couple minutes. Go through Karen. Yeah. Anybody? Anyone here with? Are you with the media outlet? Pardon me? Oh, are you with media? She just has a question. Okay. What's your question, ma'am? Sure, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna ask the, the, the resident asked about the events of last night and whether there will be extra protection for this evening. So for safety questions, I will, because the chief is with us today and we've put together a plan, I'll have him um, address any that comes up. Uh, the answer to your question is uh, yes, there was an incident last night involving the, uh, the firing of a weapon. Uh, it does not appear that that was uh, intended to harm anyone, although there is some discrepancy on whether it was intentional or not. In response to that, there was an arrest made last night of the individual who fired the weapon, 
and he was charged and his information is available at the Ada County Sheriff's website or was. But the real question is, will there be extra protection or safety tonight? And the answer is we will absolutely have a presence tonight and we will do everything in our power to, uh, to make sure that the event comes off as safely as we can possibly ensure. We will have a presence, we will have officers there and we have plans around that and we uh, unfortunately or fortunately however you look at it um, we are gaining more experience in dealing with these types of incidents and the uh, sometimes the discrepancies and the, the clashes that happen around them so yes yes Tracy um, I wonder if one of the firing was from a citizen down in the protest who was armed So just if, it, if anybody didn't hear the question, make sure I'm paraphrasing it correctly. Yeah. Um, there are many folks that have been and are uh, appearing at these protests or vigils at the State House who are armed and are we in support of all of these folks bringing their guns to the protest? Um, that's, a, that's a great question. Uh, we are supportive of all rights in our community and we are there to facilitate everyone's point of view being safely expressed. Uh, having said that, I don't know that it's ever a great idea to have uh, lots of guns and, and people coming. I would just say that we feel comfortable in our ability to provide a safe atmosphere. And if folks are coming with weapons to try and help ensure safety, uh, we feel like we have a handle on it, but it's certainly uh, not illegal and it is your right to do so. So uh, this gentleman's comment was, uh, how did we feel about the events last night? And it was pretty emotional and there were, uh, there were some tensions, if you will, maybe I'm paraphrasing, um, but how did we feel it went? Is that correct? Uh, my, my response is we are very, very thankful that no one was injured and there was not any physical violence last night. We are very thankful for that. And we hope for that to be the case tonight as well. There were some tense moments. There were some altercations that developed, but I am thankful and proud of the folks who are here in Boise who were able to contain themselves, able to express themselves without resorting to violence. And that's what we ask of all of our citizens and all of those who would attend tonight. And uh, we, we look forward to everybody being able to express themselves freely and not having it boil over into those tensions that lead to violence. If I could make one last statement, uh, not to draw too much attention, but there's a sign here in the background that says, where is the love? And I would hope the answer to that is right here in Boise. Thank you.